Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open the Vraska Planeswalker deck. This is from Guilds of Ravnica, so the set has just come out, and usually they bring out the Planeswalker decks on the first weekend. So let's take a look at what we get here. Vraska, Real Golgon, deck box, 60 card deck play, tabletop or online, 215 card booster packs. This is interesting. Redeem the code inside to unlock your deck in Magic the Gathering Arena. I did not know that. And we also get a strategy insert and two reference cards. So let's take a closer look at this and go through the contents. And how have people been getting on at pre-release? It's been a busy weekend, as you may have noticed with my strange video scheduling. The uh, booster box opening went up late last night. And hopefully people have been enjoying that. So let's first take a look at our Planeswalker card today. As usual, we get a nice foil. Planeswalker, Vraska, Regal, Gorgon. So she has 5 loyalty for 7 mana legendary Planeswalker, Vraska. Her plus 2 is put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on up to 1 target creature. That creature gains menace until end of turn. Minus 3 destroy target creature. And the ultimate minus 10 for each creature card in your graveyard. Put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. So that seems pretty nice. Obviously not as full powered as the Raska card in the main set. They like to depower these a little because you're usually beginner players playing against each other. But uh, yeah, and they also don't want these things to be um, going into the standard meta at a significant power level. So let's have a look here. So we've got a set of cards. We've got the two booster packs, which incidentally will have Liliana and Nyssa do the pack blessings today to get us some great pulls. If you're not familiar with the pack blessing ritual on the channel. Hey, before you play, so it talks about playing the deck and about creatures using the graveyard, terms to know, flying, undergrowth, and menace. There's Raska. And what is this? What are Planeswalkers? So they're a special type of card. This gives you all the info you need. So if you want to get a closer look at that, zoom in, pause the video. Okay, so we will crack open these packs later. Let's get Liliana out of the way and take a look at our pack here. And I did not know you could redeem these for online. That would be pretty cool. Get some more players into Arena. So let's separate out the lands as usual. Forests, swamps. Okay, and then we have, let's see here. Okay, we've got a code there. I'm going to put that aside and use that. Okay, so this is a Golgari land base. So we have Golgari Guildgate. One, two, three, four of those. So those are you can tap them for swamps or forests. Then we get forests, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those. So a few more swamps than forests. So now let's take a look at the deck proper. We start off with a Beast Whisperer, Creature Elf Druid 2-3 for 4 mana. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. I saw this guy doing some heavy lifting at pre-release. Seems good. Bounty of Might. So this is an instant for 6. I actually talked about this one in the main booster box opening. 
So what they've done here, target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. They repeat that three times. My question was, why didn't they just do plus three, plus three on each of up to three creatures? And people clarified, yeah, this is actually uh, fairly flexible. You could give those plus three, plus threes to one creature. You could mix and match a couple on one creature, one on another creature. So it seems pretty versatile. I'd expect this one would be a crazy card. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens with that in standard format. Next up we have Vraska's Stone Glare. Sorcery for six mana. Destroy target creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Vraska Regal Gorgon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. So this is one of those cards that is particular to this set because it's referring to the Planeswalker we have here. So we get two of those. And then uncommons and commons, I'm not going to read through the text. You can freeze that if you like. But if anything jumps out at me, I'll focus in on it. So we have Barters and Bats, Lotleth Giant, and that is pretty cool. Giant there. Zombie giant. Dowser of Lights. Crawl Raider. So we get a couple of those. Insect Warriors. That's set four. Complete playset. Another Barters and Bats. Spinal Centipede. This one was particularly annoying at pre-release. When it dies, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. That's a three two. For three mana. So even if you kill him, he pumps up somebody else. So we get what? Three of those. Devkaran Dissident. More pumping up of creatures. Iron Shell Beetle. And you'll notice this is seems to be a common theme here. You're putting counters on creatures, so really buffing them up. Crawl Void Voyages. <laughs> Crowl Foragers, no less. Wild Ceratok. So there's a crazy giant rhino. They seem to have at least one of those in most sets. Name a set that does not have a rhino. That will probably be pretty easy for you, but leave a note in the comments. Attendant of Raska. Zombie Soldier. That is pretty terrifying. <laughs> so we get... One, two, three, three of those. Glow Spore Shaman. So, two of those. Rhizome Lurcher. Fungus Zombie. There's a new combo. What does this do? Has Undergrowth. So, that is one of the new mechanics in this set. Rhizome Lurcher enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Seems pretty strong if you can fill your graveyard up fairly early on. So it's a 2-2 for 4 mana. We get two of those. Swarm Guild Mage. Dead Weight. So this is good for knocking out creatures. I used that a bunch in my pre-release deck. Which we will talk about more of that in the deck tech and pre-release summary coming up. Prey Upon. So... Two of those. Discover more at learnmagic.wizards.com And what is all this talks about? Oh, it's a handy reference card. I don't remember seeing these before. Attacking and blocking. And how to cast spells. Alright. So that is pretty good. And then we have this Magic the Gathering Portal. This is a new app apparently. So... I'll have to check that out. Not sure what that's all about. And then here we have the Magic the Gathering Arena. You can bring your deck into the arena and you get a code there. That seems fantastic. So get you off and running in arena. And if you're not aware, that is the fancier alternative to MTGO. So you can go on to arena and it's more of a free-to-play, like buying gems type thing, building up decks that way. Not so much trading them. 
And that has been in closed beta for quite a long time, so I haven't played it that much. I played it early on in the beta, it had quite a few rough edges, but it's looking fantastic now. And they are coming out of the closed beta, now it's the open beta. So I, I would expect probably sometime next year they'll be um, fully releasing that. So that is something to pay attention to. And not to forget, we have two packs here. So we're going to crack these open. This is the fun part. Always good to crack some packs. As I found when I was getting into that box, it was a very, very long video, but we got some nice pulls. So let's start off with Disdainful Stroke Torch Courier. Hunted Witness, Burglar Rat! Yes, we've got the rats. I have a thing about rats. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, rats and goblins are the thing. Okay, Portcullis Svine, Pitiless Gorgon, Fresh Face Recruit, Artful Takedown, Somala Woodshaper, Devious Cover Up, Conclave Cavalier is the first of the uncommon. Uncommons. Words are hard, people. So that looks pretty cool. Arboretum Elemental. We Dragonauts. And rare is a Swift Blade Vindicator. Creature, human, soldier. 1-1 one, one for 2 mana. So that's the Boros colors there. Double Strike, Vigilance and Trample. Seems pretty good. With a Demir Guildgate. Which was incidentally the guild I played at pre-release. And a soldier token. Okay, so that is pack number one. Pack number two. Let's see how we go. And these are very, I would say, kudos to wizards. These Planeswalker decks are cunningly designed, getting you into cracking packs. So you not only do you get a decent deck to start with that is not anywhere near competitive at Friday Night Magic, but it's a great start for your kitchen table. They also get you in the cracking pack, so let's go. Wish Coin, Crab, Sure Strike, Collar the Culprit, Dasa of Lights, Pax Favor, Vernadi Shieldmate, Pitiless Gorgon, Piston Fist Cyclops, Hammer Dropper, Artful Takedown, and for the Uncommons we have a Goblin Crater Maker. There we go. He's up to some mischief, I'm sure. True Fire Captain, Silent Dart, and the rare is Drown Secrets. So this is an enchantment for two. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So this is the card you're going to want to use if you're doing a mill strategy. Make sure you're playing blue and, yeah, they basically just mill, mill, mill away can see some cool combos coming out of that. Golgari Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Okay, so that is it for the Raska Regal Gorgon Planeswalker deck. Leave a note in the comments what you think about this. Are you planning to pick it up? I think they retail for about 15 bucks or I got both from my LGS for 25. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.